Hey, what's up? I'm on almost no sleep here, but I wanted to get this video out. About 10 days ago, I posted a video about Dave Chappelle's argument against abortion. I mentioned that I had just had my first biopsy. I wasn't trying to cause any concern. I just knew that I had a Band-Aid on my face and people were going to ask me about it. And since removing something from my body served as a good introduction to the topic of abortion, I mentioned that I had just had a biopsy. But every day since then, people have been sending me messages asking me about my biopsy results. So I'll go ahead and discuss that now since I'm leaving the country tonight and won't be back until the 30th. For those of you who didn't watch my Chappelle video, several years ago, I had a cool Robert De Niro mole grow in right here. You can see it in some of my videos over the years, but it would inevitably start bleeding from scrubbing my face with a washcloth or from scratching it. So I would get annoyed and burn it off with acid. Then it would be gone for several months. It would eventually grow back. Then I'd have a mole for a while. It would start bleeding again. I'd burn it off again and so on. Turns out it wasn't a mole at all. I went and got it checked out because, spoiler alert, moles aren't supposed to bleed or itch, and this thing was always itching and bleeding. I hadn't been to a doctor in years, but I went to the doctor and told her that I'd been burning off this itchy mole. She asked me how I was burning it off. I told her that I'd Googled how to burn off human flesh. I found someone in the comment section of some website who said, just order some of the acid that's used for chemical peels. You're supposed to dilute it with a bunch of water before you use it, but don't dilute it. Leave it full strength and it will burn right through you. So I told the doctor that I was using undiluted chemical peel acid to burn off my mole. No one at the doctor's office thought that was a good idea. After I posted the Chappelle video, one of you sent me a message saying, I thought you were smart. I replied, smart, yes. Raised in a West Virginia trailer park, also yes. People who grow up in a West Virginia trailer park don't have to be stupid, but we do some stupid things. Where I grew up, you didn't go to the doctor unless the wound was still bleeding the next day. You'd go to the doctor for a broken bone, but it would have to be an, an arm bone or bigger, we take care of fingers ourselves. And things generally worked out. I remember one time I was in like fourth grade and I found this fat tick dug in a little below my waist. You're not supposed to just pull ticks off because you might pull off the body and the head is still in there, but we would just pull them off. Anyway, I pulled the tick off and like a week later, I noticed that the area was red and swollen and it hurt to touch it. So I took out my pocket knife, sliced the red part open, let it bleed for a while, poured some peroxide on it, covered it with a folded up paper towel and put some tape over the paper towel to keep everything nice and clean. And there was no problem after that. No need to tell anyone. We handled our own medical issues. That's how I grew up. So. Obviously, if you don't want a mole bleeding on your face, what are you supposed to do? Go to a plastic surgeon? No, you get some acid and handle your business. But trailer park treatments don't always work. Again, this wasn't a mole. The doctor sent me to a dermatologist. The dermatologist cut it off and sent it to the lab. Lab report came back and said it's basal cell carcinoma, which is skin cancer. Now, before the D. Wood fans get worried and before the jihadis start praising the great God Allah, I'll say that basal cell carcinoma is like the glass Joe of cancers. Only fans of Punch-Out will get that. It's a pretty weak and lame cancer. Some cancers are fast spreading, and if you don't catch them quickly, you're in trouble. Other cancers are slow. Let's read a quick description of basal cell carcinoma from skincancer.org. Basal cell carcinoma is the most common form of skin cancer and the most frequently occurring form of all cancers. In the U.S. alone, more than 4 million cases are diagnosed each year. 
BCCs arise from abnormal, uncontrolled growth of basal cells. Because BCCs grow slowly, most are curable and cause minimal damage when caught and treated early. Understanding BCC causes, risk factors, and warning signs can help you detect them early when they are easiest to treat and cure. Sadly, they did not catch this early because I spent years burning it off. So they're probably going to have to cut pretty deep into my face to make sure they get all the cancer out. The dermatologist said that I'll have to go to a plastic surgeon to fix my face after surgery. I have nothing against plastic surgery, but I do have something against me getting plastic surgery. My life has been trailer park, prison, the Bronx. I've spent an entire lifetime honing my white trashedness and allowing it to amplify my natural psychopathy, leaving me completely indestructible. I feel like if I go to a plastic surgeon, I'm going to end up using lotions or lighting scented candles or whatever normal people do. And fixing a hole in my face is like two inches away from giving me lip injections or something. I prefer growing hideous gracefully, although I will probably grant my wife the final say in what happens to my face since she's the one who stares at it dreamily all day long. Anyway, we'll see what happens. My surgery is on the 30th. That's the day I get back to the U.S. On the plus side, once the cancer is gone, I'll no longer need to burn myself with acid. I can focus on burning false ideologies with this white-hot fire I spit.